Okay, have you ever been moving a large item with someone and it started to wobble or feel off balance, like you're losing control, and you just know that at any second they're gonna drop their end, and when this happens, that person will usually say, don't worry, I've got it! Or maybe you've had a child run up to you frantic to show you their latest scraped elbow or knee, and the blood makes it look much worse than it is, but you know they need attention and reassurance, so you say, don't worry, I've got it. People of all ages experience circumstances that leave us looking for someone who can help, someone who's got our back and can help carry the load. And this month, we want to begin teaching preschoolers that God is the best someone for the job. No matter what our situation or how uncertain our circumstances may be, we can know that God is with us wherever we go and God's got it. This kind of trust in God is what allows us to sing in the rain, which is why we thought sing in the rain would make the perfect theme. Week one, we'll hear the story of how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego trusted that God's got it as they were on their way to a blazing furnace. It truly is an amazing story of trusting God. In week two, we see a mother trust that God's got it as she puts her baby, Moses, in a basket and hides him among the reeds on a riverbank. I can only imagine all of the conflicting emotions she must have been feeling, but her trust in God was bigger. In week three, we get to watch the journey of another mother as she learns firsthand that God's got it. She had reached the point of giving up when God stepped in and showed her that he heard her son's cries and could give him exactly what he needed. We'll wrap up the month with one of the most popular stories in the Bible, Noah. Now preschoolers love this story. I mean, how could they not with all of the animals and the rainbow at the end? We'll use Noah's exciting story to teach the truth that God keeps his promises. If God says he's got it, then God's got it. Now, I don't have to tell you that there's a chance of rain in our lives or in the lives of our preschoolers. Many of us have already come through some pretty big rainstorms. Some of us are in them right now. And that's why it is our sincere prayer that during this month, we and our preschoolers will begin to trust that God's got it. This kind of trust in God is what will give you and me and our preschoolers the power to sing in the rain, no matter what that rain might be.